So you've just acquired yourself uh, uh, an above ground pool. It's probably one of those in, inexpensive ones, maybe 10, 12 foot, maybe even 15. Um, could be, have an inflatable ring round it or could have a frame. Um, it'll also have with it uh, a cartridge filter pump, usually. So most people might be under the impression that having one of those uh, cartridge filter pumps on, it's going to keep the pool clean. It doesn't. Uh, if you've got bacteria in the pool because it quickly builds up, then uh, the filter cartridge is not going to take it out. Uh, you need chemicals to kill anything nasty in the pool. So before long, you're going to find your pool starts going green and uh, audible colours, uh, probably within two weeks. That's because you don't have any chemicals in the pool. So all swimming pools, the, the, the way they stay clean is it's the combination of the fil filter pump and the chemicals that go in the pool. So let's, uh, let's keep it simple uh, and stick with that. Uh, there are many options on keeping your pool clean, but the, the more standard ones are chlorine and uh, also keeping on top of your pH. So uh, let's stick with chlorine. Chlorine, uh, if we, we do, we do uh, chemical starter packs, for example. There's a typical one. Chemical starter pack. Uh, in that starter pack, we have things like uh, stabilized chlorine. What does stabilized chlorine do? Uh, it kills anything nasty in the pool, bacteria, that kind of thing. So it kills anything nasty in the pool and the filter pump then takes it out. So it's a combination of chlorine and the filter pump that keeps, keeps the pool clean. Uh, you can't have one without the other. Some people think you can put the chemicals in uh, without a filter pump and that'll keep the pool clean. It won't. And some people assume that you don't need chemicals. They'll soon find out you do. So I'm not going to tell you how much uh, chlorine to put in. Uh, that's for you to work out. Uh, it does say on the, uh, if you buy a chlorine pack, it will tell you how much to put in, depending on the size of your pool. Your pool will have instructions with it telling you how much, how many gallons are in there or how many cubic meters, which whichever way it is, you uh, work it out yourself. Um, uh, that, that's that's for you to sort out. Uh, so chlorine is the first essential chemical. The other chemicals are you a pH. So when you buy a starter kit, for example, you get uh, two chemicals, pH plus. And pH minus. Um, why do you want to keep on top of your pH? Typically your pH needs to be around 7.2. Um, if you keep on top of your pH your chlorine is more efficient. It works more efficiently. Um, you can have issues with your water if the pH is uh, too high or too low. Don't want to get too complicated and go into it in too much detail but you can get things like corrosion to metal parts and you can have cloudy water and you can have all the sorts of nasty effects that you don't want. So it's well worth keeping on top of your pH. Should be around 7.2. You can check your water with these uh, test strips that normally come with a, a starter kit or just buy some kind of testing kit. I find test strips are the easiest way to do, do it. This one checks pH and chlorine. You just dip it in the water and read it off against the colours. Uh, so keeping on top of uh, your chlorine, keeping on top of your pH and run, running your filter pump. That's the way to keep your pool clean. Um, typically uh, in the summer, if you've got the kids going in the pool, it's a summer holidays and s stuff like that going on. You really want to be running your pump, filter pump 10 hours a day, give or take. Um, some people are under the impression you put your filter pump on for a couple hours a day. It ain't going to do it. You've got to have it at least 10 hours a day. Um, keeping on top of your chlorine as well. Um, when you put your chlorine in the pool, um, chlorine burns if you like, so it's used up quicker depending on um, uh, uh, the weather and depending off the pool, uh, on the pool's usage, so if the kids are going in the pool all the time, it's hot weather, chlorine gets used up quicker, so don't think you've got to put your chlorine in or well, put some chlorine in once a week or something like that. It doesn't work like that as well. You've got to check, um, keep testing your water. If the kids are going in the pool all the time, chlorine will burn quicker. Ways to reduce the reduction of uh, chlorine uh, being used up is when the pool's not being used, put a cover on the pool. That um, that's, uh, slows down uh, the dissipation of chlorine. So ideal cover to put on in the summer is like a bubble wrap cover, solar cover, or what some people call the solar, uh, solar blankets. Uh, that's it really, uh, that's uh, essentially it, um, as I say, don't, it, you can get too complicated with these things, but keeping on top of your chemicals and keeping on top of your filter pump, keeping, uh, keeping your filter uh, cartridges clean as well, um, it, it's handy having a couple, couple of spare cartridges, but you can clean them, so a typical cartridge might be that kind of shape, 
Uh, and if you um, if you want to, you know, you, if your pump starts slowing down, if the water um, water coming into the pool starts slowing down, it's a sure sign that the cartridge is getting blocked up. So get your cartridge taken out of the uh, the pump, get a hose pipe, put your thumb on the end of it, and jet it clean and put it back in. The other option is have a couple of spare cartridges. So take the cartridge out, put a new one in or a clean one in. Take the dirty one out, clean it while it's still wet, and then put it to one side. Um, but a sure sign the cartridge is getting clogged up, uh, clogged up is always if the water flow into the pool is really slowed down. Um, if you keep on top of those uh, things, the chemicals, I hope I've covered it there, and the filter pump, you should find that your water will stay crystal clear. I mean, the, the ultimate goal is crystal clear water in your pool. If you're doing everything right, that's the result you'll get. And um, I, I can't say any more than that. Some chemical starter kits uh, come with uh, algae side. But if, you, um, if the pool goes green, uh, you can put algae side in the pool to kill it off. Uh, but usually if the pool's gone green, you haven't been looking after the pool, you're not running your filter uh, pump long enough, uh, you're not keeping on top of your chlorine. Um, and so if you look after those things and your pH keep on top of it, then generally your pool is not going to go green anyway. Um, so as I say, that's it. And when you start getting used to it, I, I, I think you'll find that uh, looking after your pool is like riding a bike. You get used to it. It becomes natural for you to know what to do. And, um, but it isn't complicated. Uh, I hope this uh, video has helped you. And there are all types of starter kits out there. We supply them, of course. But um, um, chlorine and keeping on top of your pH and running your pump, that'll keep your pool clean. Thanks for your time.